Hello everyone, I am back again and today I'm doing something different. Uh, I'm doing just a small little panel, a mixed media panel or canvas. No, it's not a canvas, it's just a, a thick uh, cardboard uh, that I'm using. Um, I'm starting off with a heavy gesso through this beautiful stencil. I don't know which brand it's from. I bought it on a um, craft fair uh, a, year, a few years ago. So, um, loving this already, um, letting it dry and then go in with stamping. I've got a little box, uh, you might know it with my favorite background stamps. I just keep them in one box because I use them a lot. They are from different kinds of brands. So, just a spiral and some dots here and there and then drying it again. Although I stamped with archival ink and that dries very quick. Now, um, I am still cleaning up my craft room in my old house and I found my sprays. Um, I do need to check them because some of them don't work anymore or the, sp the nozzle doesn't work. So I use uh, a brush or do other things to them. I, I use them to colorize uh, gesso, for example. So um, I'm not going to throw them away, but I thought, well, why not use them? So I'm just spraying with my uh, homemade blue one and with um, uh, the pink and I think it's a yellow one from Dilutions. And the blue one is made with um, Distress Reinkers and water. Now doing the same and I'm mixing uh, the pink and the yellow and I'm using a little bit of that um, Starburst or something yellow. In the yellow color, it's more it looks more like gold, but uh, and I'm liking the way this goes. I'm just using a little bit gesso to tone it a little bit down. It was way too blue. You can't see that well in the video, but it was really way too blue. So I'm just smearing a little gesso here and there. And then go in with the same thing, but then a purple one to create darker layers to make the other, the make the the texture stand out more. So making it look like a mess first. It always has to be messy before it gets better, isn't it? So drying it off completely, and you know that sprays always dry up um, lighter, light lighter then you uh, want it so you start out with the dark color and if you dry it it's it's way too light so I'm using another starburst color a green one and if you really must know I will uh, find out and write it down but I'm not good at it, it takes a lot of my time <laughs> to write everything in a description box and besides that I think that you can create your own ideas and use your own materials you don't ha necessarily have to use the things that I use so um, going in with the colors again this is the yellow starburst again just using my brush plattering with it and uh, drying it and this goes on and on until I'm satisfied with the way it looks and that took a while and you see starts to look like a sea ocean or an ocean or something something it reminds me of mermaids I don't know why but it does it has nothing to do with mermaids in the end I promise so using a little bit of Inca gold to make it stand out just rub it on uh, the texture or on the stencil that I used and then I go in with my Derwent watercolor pencil haven't used that one in a while and I'm going to create even more contrast and, you know, use my black line. And really, I really think that it needed that. And then I go in with white. I've got some um, spatters, as you saw, with the uh, ink. And I'm just going around them with my uh, white marker. It's kind of like a gel pen. Now, here and there, just random, and then go in with black, do the same. Just create a little bit more interest. <clears throat> I forgot to say that I stamped on top of the um, gesso as well. 
Um, I dried it, of course, but only on the surface. So when you press your stamps into the gesso, it leaves a mark. And you can't see it that well here on the video, but in the gesso there are stamp marks. And I really like that. It gives another texture and dimension to what you're doing. And I find that when you look at a project closely, you can see a lot of things going on with a little effort. <laughs> so a water brush to um, blend my paper. And then uh, you saw that paper that was underneath my uh, cardboard and I sprayed it and then I stamped it with these Art Journey stamps. Um, the large one is from the Butterfly uh, collection. It has the XL uh, Butterfly as well. And the smaller one comes from uh, Tulips. So you get Tulips and this beautiful little butterfly with that as well. And um, I cut them all out, well most of them, and I think I spent 10 minutes trying to think where I wanted those butterflies to go and which color needed to go where. And in the end I decided just don't overthink it and you just glue it down. And that's what I'm doing here, just gluing it down. Um, going in with um, a micron pen, just emphasizing the wings of the butterfly and the body of the butterfly as well. Because well, the stamping didn't do that well on that paper and it just needed a little bit more black. So I think that looks better when you do it like this. And I knew I wasn't going to go over this again with another medium. So this is a, a water soluble uh, marker. So that really doesn't matter because it's no nothing is going to go over it. Well, that was a, what I was thinking. I might have just um, used a little bit of uh, gel medium in the end to go over it to make it a little bit shiny, but not sure. I did this, I think, three weeks ago and uh, haven't got around t uh, to it to um, to do the voiceover. But you can see here some details of the canvas. Hope you like that. Now and then a little bit of shading going in with my uh, Doint Intense pencil and uh, using a water brush to blend it a bit with the background, give it a little bit more interest. You can't see it that well, but it's there. And you see in the beginning of the video, I have a quite clean desk. But while I was doing, I was gathering so much stuff that I have just literally 20 by 20 centimeters to work on. And you might recognize that. So you've got a clean desk before you start a new project and then within 10 minutes is disaster. <laughs> now, um, I got this uh, badass stamps. It's a Dutch brand and they have some weird and wicked and great stamps. Um, so um, I am st uh, stamping this uh, sentence from that stamp uh, set and I'm stamping it multiple times so I can, um, uh, well, just uh, choose the words that um, stamped the best. I don't know how to did I say it that well. Well, yeah. Uh, and it says, take these broken wings and learn to fly and just fly or something. You'll see it later. And again, doubting the way I should position it on my canvas. I think I've got 20 p spots where I put them. And um, Oh yeah, it's uh, take these broken wings and learn to fly. It's, I think it's a, a song lyric or something. Yeah, it's just a take the yeah, yeah, it's a song lyric. I'm not trying to sing. I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you with that. So um, deciding on down uh, on the bottom of my cardboard. Uh, well, I don't know how you call it. It's kind of like a, a painting or something. I think it's nice. I'm just going to call it cardboard painting. Now, what did I do next? Almost finished, I think. Just going around it, of course, like I always do with my black marker. Just to make them stand out a little bit. 
that looks better and that took me a while as you can see this is a food ball pen it's not water resistant as well so water soluble but still thinking that I'm not gonna put anything on top of that so that's why I use it and here I go wrong I use I think it's a Ranger uh, gloss gel medium and I use it on my the whole of my canvas and um, you know everything that's on it the spray uh, the uh, the butterflies everything I use is water soluble so it started to move a little bit because I was very careful but it did move so I needed to touch up again and now I go in with a little bit of white because it needed a sparkle back so really you have to think about if you are going to use something after one medium and if it co it's compatible with each other so but hey really doesn't matter does it because it turned out fine in the end now I think I'm done yes I might be done so I'm just showing you in close-up what it looks like and then I hope you uh, leave me a message if you like if you liked it and a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye bye everyone bye bye until then